we are exploring an incredible collection of cars. Ford Mustang Convertible. This is an absolutely incredible find. Volkswagen Beetle. Look at this Fiat completely covered in dust. Renault 10. Mark 1 Golf GTI. Didn't even realise this Mini was here. Cannot believe I've just found a wide body 911. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. And today I'm exploring this very interesting building. I haven't got a clue what's in there, but I saw it from the side of the road and I thought I'm going to come and have a look. I'm going to bring you guys with me, so let's go and check it out and see what we can find. Now it looks to be some sort of old quarry building. There's a couple of silos around the other side. Now it's a very unusual shape, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going to be in there, but I don't know why, but something's just attracted me to it. So um, let's have a little walk around. Might have to try and fight our way through these bushes um, unless we can find an easier way, but uh, let's go and have a look and see if we can find a way in. Okay, guys, we are now inside this barn and I've got to say, I didn't expect there to be quite as much stuff as this. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff in here. Look, there's a forklift in there. Look at the amount of parts which has been left in here. I mean, this looked like it was a thriving business once upon a time. And there is stuff everywhere, literally everywhere. We've got a massive pit there. It looks like we've got a storeroom over here. Look at this, look, some of this stuff is brand new. It's never even been used. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> This is crazy. Look at that, there's still loads of tools and all sorts in here. Wow, this is, oh, honestly, I had no idea any of this was in here. What on earth are these? Is that some sort of a water heater? There's loads, and they're all brand new as well. Look, they're all brand new, never been used. So we've got a press there, big hydraulic press. There is just so much stuff. Oh, there's a car over there. Look at that old car. Right, we're going to check that out in a minute. Let's have a look around here quickly first. And we've got another storeroom here with stuff everywhere. This doesn't look like it was new stuff. This looks like it could have been secondhand parts, but I mean, everywhere you look, there is just bits and pieces of cars and air filters, boxes, distributors. <laughs> There's just so much in here. Like most of it's on the floor now, but you know, I don't know the story behind this. Well, I mean, what is that in there? That's brand new, whatever that is, it's brand new. It's never been used. We've got an old oh, compressor on my left there. Is that a compressor or a heater? Well, that might be a diesel heater, actually. 
Look, there's another parts room here. Look at all this stuff. This stuff is brand new. All the oil filters, brand new. O-rings, brand new. Honestly, what, <laughs> what is the story behind this place? So just up here, I think we've got the old office with yet another storeroom. I'm not sure what's in this one. It looks like it could be furniture and yeah, there's loads of furniture in that one. There's even a massive sink in there. But look at this, we've got more, more stock, all those shelves. Yeah. Whoever has the job of clearing this place out, it's gonna have a field day, and honestly. Right, let's uh, take a walk back round and go find out what car that is because it looks very interesting. So we've got a massive, is that a steam cleaner? I think that's a steam cleaner there. There's the fault lift. And look at this car. Oh, there's another car, look at that. That's a Renault 10. There's a Renault 10 in here. But what is that? I've got absolutely no idea what that is. Oh my God, look, there's a digger as well. This thing still looks usable. In fact, I bet Al could get it started. <laughs> My God. But what car is this? Look, we've got engines everywhere. There's a lathe there. But what car is this? Guys, if any of you know what car this is, please pop it in the comments below because I have got absolutely no idea. It's still got the block inside it. the mileage on <sighs> Wow, that is an old clock. 72,669 kilometers. So it's got fairly decent mileage. Oh gosh, there's a truck and a motorbike. And look, there's a car out there too. I never even saw that. Massive trailers. Who leaves stuff like this here, honestly? this little Renault 10. Oh, it's such a shame that oh, the building's falling down on it. This stuff must have been in here for years. Look at this motorbike. What is that? Double over a cam. Is that a Kawasaki? Yeah, it is a Kawasaki, look. There it is. What's the mileage on that? two seven three seven zero kilometers this truck is really nice i like this got loads of stickers on the side of it let's have a look inside wow oh, oh look at all the stuff in here we've got a mileage reading on that three four eight one two six kilometers wow it's on the way to half a million miles on that. Sorry, kilometers. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh my, no. There is no way. There is no way. That is a Mustang. That is a Mustang convertible. Oh my God. That is a Mustang convertible. <laughs> oh my goodness me look at that this is an incredible find an absolutely incredible find oh my god we've got more cars out there as well okay this <laughs> this is oh what's for words again right it looks like there's a room here let's just have a quick i'm not even looking up there yet because i can see something which looks really really special and i'm getting really excited but i just want to check everything out here first before i go back out there so we've got another storeroom another storeroom with um there's loads of air filters there's all sorts in here to be honest oil filters Hydraulic lines, clutches, windscreens, bench seats. 
can't believe how much stuff is in here. I can't, I can't put it off anymore. I've got to go and find out what cars are out there. <laughs> that one, that one looks very special. <laughs> okay, this location has just taken a massive U-turn. What on earth have I just found here? That is a Porsche 911. That is a Mark 1 Golf. There is another Mark 1 Golf next to it and it looks like a GTI. There is a Volkswagen Beetle. There's an MG. That looks like an old Fiat. And is that a BMW 2002? There is absolutely no way that is a BMW 2002. I honestly cannot believe what I've just found here. This is ridiculous. Look, this Porsche still has the engine inside it. What on earth is going on here? I mean, the fact it's got a wide body kit on it too, it looks like it's been added on. I don't think it's an original car, but nevertheless, I mean, this, I mean, who abandons a Porsche 911? Seriously, this is ridiculous. This, this really is ridiculous. <laughs> I think I need a moment here. This is just... Oh. <laughs> My God. Oh, there's no seats in it. Still quite a lot of stuff in there, though, to be honest. Oh, even the cigarette tray still got cigarettes in it. <laughs> Back seats are still in there. The carpet, the headlining, the mirrors... I mean, all the axles are still in there, look. The exhaust system, the brakes. There is still a lot of stuff on that car. Maybe someone could buy the car and restore the car. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any major damage to it. There's a little bit here. There's a little bit there on the wing. But I don't think it's got any crash damage or anything like that. You know, it still looks pretty straight inside here. It's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. And look at this car here. Even this looks like, I mean, look at the interior. Honestly, th this is really clean. Like, I know it's covered in dust, but you know, this can be cleaned and it, honestly, look at the door cards. The door cards are still absolutely amazing. It's incredible. Now, this BMW, it looks like a 2002. Um, it's really hard to tell from this angle. I might have to walk back round and have a look down there. Um, I mean, even this car as well. Look at the interior in here. 81,095 kilometres on the clock. <laughs> wow. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is climb over and have a look at the backs of these cars. The bonnet is actually open on this Golf. Look at that, it still has the engine inside it. It actually looks really straight as well. I don't think any of these cars have been accident damaged. I think they've literally just been stalled here. Maybe they were for restoration. I mean, the MG looks like it was having some work done underneath it. It's been propped up with a ball bar or something by the look of it at the back. Um, Okay guys, I'm gonna try and step over this and have a look around the back of these two cars. Now there's not a lot of interior in this one. We've still got the steering wheel, the door cars on the other side. We've got 68,000 kilometers on the clock. The dashboard actually, although it's covered in dust, looks really good. Headlining. This one does look like a, is it a GTI? I don't know. Um try and squeeze down the middle of the two. Oh, it's got blue leather interior. That's, um, is it leather? No, it's not leather, it's cloth. 62,000 kilometers on the clock on this. Wow, this is an early one. This is an 80s one, I'm sure of it. Oh, of course, a bit squishy down there. This may be a GTI. I'm not sure about this one. I don't think this one is. Wow, 
I mean, it's got a little bit of rust on the arches. It's not terrible though, I've seen a lot worse. This one looks like it's been painted. I'm starting to wonder whether this car has actually been resprayed and it was starting to get put back together, but it never got finished. And the MG looks like it's been having some kind of work underneath. I don't know if it's had handbrake issues or something. It looks like the cable's been replaced. Um, whoever's propped the car up like that was obviously doing some sort of work on it underneath. Um, of course, very rusty though. Look at that. What does the inside look like? Doesn't actually look too bad. I mean, even like that, you could probably clean it up and make that look new again. Crazy. Not even the Beatles got the engine in it still. <laughs> it's, just, it's just madness. It really is madness. I mean, what a collection to find in one place. Just one place. All these cars. Is the door open on the Beetle? Yeah, it is. Can we have a little peek inside? Right, I'm going to try and squeeze the camera through the gap. It's a bit tight, but there we go. Guys, look at the interior. I mean, I know it's covered in dust, but the seats actually look really good. This this car would probably clean up like new again. I just can't believe it's been just been left in here like this. Right, I'm gonna try and get the camera back out again. I'm going to have a look at some of the other cars in there. Okay, so I'm going to take a little walk up to the top of this roof area. I should have a nice view of all these cars. It looks pretty solid. I think it's actually a solid concrete, so it's not going anywhere. When you think about it, these cars are worth an absolute fortune. Two Mark I Golfs, a Beetle, a Porsche 911, even the BMW and the Mustang. I mean, somebody has quite literally forgotten about these push these cars to the back of the workshop and completely forgotten about them and it is such a shame it really is a shame i mean even this truck you know the renault 10 i mean i'm sure some of these cars could have still driven out of here at one point but here they sit just completely abandoned I mean, lucky for the cars, the actual building they're stalled in still looks quite watertight and I don't think it's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. So, you know, that's one blessing, but, you know, having said that, people have obviously found these cars and know where they are. So it's probably only a matter of time before the wrong people then find them and um, stuff starts going missing. But obviously I never give locations out. So, you know, nothing's ever gonna come from me, but, Let's just keep our fingers crossed that these cars either stay here, hidden and forgotten about, or they get bought and, and saved. Now, I didn't even know this Mini was here. Look at this. This looks completely rust-free. It actually looks really good. I know it's covered in dust, and I know it's probably been here for a very long time, but oh my goodness me, it is, it is a very solid little car. Look at these wheel arches, look, they haven't even got rust on them. This is incredible. This is one solid little car. I mean, it's got a little bit of surface rust in there. That's to be expected. You know, my little mini, bless its heart. I mean, I've got to replace all of this. The whole side, basically, the seals are completely gone on it. It's halfway there, but when you find stuff like this, it just makes you think, well, <laughs> Why do I bother, you know? I could probably try and buy this from the owner, whoever owns it. And, um, you know, and just use this one. But the whole point of me, what I do, I love saving cars. So, you know, that, that's what I'm doing with mine. But this one definitely, definitely needs to be saved. I wonder if the bonnet's open on it. It looks like it is. Which it is. That's a one litre. It's got a yellow, yellow block on it. So that's a one litre car. Um, interesting, I've just noticed, I don't know if this blue is, it, it's not the original colour, I'm sure it's not. I don't know, I could be wrong. But, um, I actually thought this car was black, but it's like a, well, hang on. It is black, it's been resprayed black, but I think it was originally blue. But having said that, I don't know if that is an original colour. If you guys know, please pop it in the comments below and let me know. 
I mean, look, even under there, it's green. So we've got green, black, blue. <laughs> There's all sorts of colours on this little car. <laughs> but having said that, like I said, it's a very, very nice example and it needs to be saved. Right, let's carry on. Now, this little Fiat looks very solid. It's got some nice patina on it. It's got lots and lots of spares in the boot. Guys, this car is an incredible find. It really is. It's a lovely colour. Really, really nice metallic blue. Look at this. Honestly, what's the mileage on it? 75050. I mean, this car hasn't even been used. It is unbelievably clear. I mean, look at the condition of the leather. This would clean up so lovely. What an incredible little find. I mean, this is probably gonna be one of the hardest cars to get out of here because it's buried right at the back of the workshop. And when you consider everything that needs to be moved out of the way to get this car out, it's, it's gonna be a hard job. It really is gonna be a hard job. I'm not sure what I'm standing on. Those of little pellets. They look like BBs, but they're not, they're a lot bigger. Wow. Honestly, this is amazing. This place is truly amazing. There can't be many places left which would hold a collection of cars like this. I mean, this Porsche 911, for example. I mean, who abandons a Porsche 911 with a wide body kit on it? <laughs> Someone who's not quite right in the head, let me tell you, because this car, I mean, it should be on the road. It really should be on the road. I mean, it even still has the engine in it. It's actually crazy. I mean, if the car's banana, then, you know, at least save the engine, put the engine in a Beetle or something. Look, we've got a donor car right here, look. It's madness. It really is madness. So, what car is this? Is it a 2002? I really don't know. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up here very easy, actually. Yeah, that pallet wasn't very strong. is it i don't even think we can see guys i can't even see the badges have all been taken off but i'm pretty sure that is a 2002 it could be um oh they did another one i can't think of the top of my head but look at that interior is still well partially in there in fact no both the seats are in there the steering wheel's missing the brake servo's on the floor for some reason um I mean, what a find, what a find. <sighs> right, I'm gonna run up there, have a quick look at that Toyota, and then I'll uh, see you guys on the outro. Okay guys, I'm just gonna take a little walk up here. I found a ladder to um, get up, which is quite handy. Ooh, need to be a bit careful. <clears throat> look at this. Look at the old fuel pump, how cool is that? That is really, really cool. Again, there's so much stuff here, look. Wow. I mean, it must have been left here for a long time. Judging by the amount of dust on everything. There's a fuel tank there. There's a Mark II Golf tailgate there with a couple of doors by the look of it as well. But um, I'll try to be careful. Just, just look at this view from here. <laughs> what a collection of cars, eh? Right, guys, I'm going to uh, run around, do some pictures, do an Instagram story and a TikTok video, and I'll see you back outside very shortly.